Eve's Beam Installation We recommend at this point that you recheck the internal dimensions, width and projection, and check the measurements across the internal corners, which should be the same. Silicone seal the gaps between the front of the Eve's Beam external trim and the front of the windows to create a watertight seal. Position the Eve's Beam centrally on top of the windows. The inside face of the overhang will sit against the front face of the panels and the end of the eaves beam will be flush with the outer face of the side panels. The eaves beam pieces will also require joining at the corners. They're joined by using two eaves beam joiners which slot together and slide into the channels on the inside of the eaves beam. Apply a bead of silicone to the cut faces of the eaves beam prior to joining. Fix the eaves beam joiners into position with the 38mm silver screws through the pre-drilled holes. Once assembled on top of the panels, drill through the eaves beam only using a long-reach 5mm drill 100mm from the edge of each window. The first holes from the end of the eaves beam should be at 100mm to ensure it's fastened into the window. Power drive the fixing screws through the holes in the eaves beam and into the head of the window. Ridge installation. Temporarily support the ridge assembly in the correct position. Start the ridge assembly by attaching the Victorian hip bars to the boss end. Slot the holes in the top of the spar over the M5 by 25 mm bolts in the ridge. Slot the holes at the bottom of the Victorian hip bar over the M5 bolts located in the bolt retainers that sit either side of the eaves beam corner. Loosely screw on the M5 locking nuts without tightening. Repeat on the other side. Attach the first starter bar over the single bolt retainer in the eaves beam. Locate the holes in the top of the starter spar over the M5 by 25 mm bolt in the ridge. Loosely, screw on the M5 locking nuts without tightening. Use your installation guide to carry out checks. Drill and fix the wall bars using fixings positioned 150mm from each end and no more than 600mm apart, avoiding mortar beds. Some fixings shown in this DVD are for studio build only. Please refer to your installation guide for the correct fixings required. Glazing bar installation. The transom glazing bars need to be installed next. Start with any glazing bars that connect to the ridge. After removing the protective film from the glazing bar undercladding, slot the transom glazing bar holes over the bolts in the double bolt retainers located in the ridge. Repeat for the holes at the bottom of the glazing bars which connect to the bolt retainers located in the eaves beam. Loosely 